at such in time they say, says nine. That's what the Niger state government seems to be saying here as it went on today to dislodge members of a radical and controversial Islamic sect, the Nebrasia Huda from Chechel in Lepai, local government's area of the state. The leader of the group, Sheikh Mohammed Abubakar, with over 200 members, says that they've come together only for the purpose of learning more of Islam and without any other motive. However, the leader of the task force set up by the state government to dislodge the sect, Lieutenant Colonel Adamu Yakubu, explained that the dislodgement is purely a security measure. This group acquired this expanse of land along the ever-busy Lapai Gulu Road. But not many people know about their existence as an Islamic sect with over 200 members. Everybody, even including the Imam, the Imam knows the house. The leader of the sect, Sheikh Mohammed Abubakar, wonders why the security agents raided their abode as he claims that apart from Islamic studies, there's no other agenda. Everybody, even including the Imam, the Imam knows the house. The house is damn just too small to occupy 240 people. So we sought to acquire a land to occupy us in order to propagate the Islam. We wrote it in the statement of uh, uh, acquisition of land, and it was written even in the CFO that we want to acquire this land for solely for propagation of Islam, farming, and the establishment of school. That's all. He also dissociates the group from any link with the dreaded Boko Haram sect. If I told us I'd be our M and our practice God, I would have, would have destroyed us for long. Because you can't use God's name to propagate dangerous things. What about Boko Haram? They are propagating dangerous things and you are fighting them. They can't fight us. So what's your stake about Boko Haram, sir? We don't recognize them. They don't want peace in the country. They don't want people to have rest. They have no M. They have no policies. They want to destroy people. So we don't know anything about them. We don't follow their own pattern. We, don't, we are no more Tijania sect, which is not all over the world. The leader of the task force, so Lieutenant Colonel Adamo Yakubo, reveals that the task force has orders to dislodge the sect. You can see some of them, they are already in the vehicles, and uh, we are packing their property, and thereafter, this place will be demolished. We are going to secure the place for several weeks, as will be required, so that nobody comes to inhabit the place again. This could just be a mere security measure, as many say perhaps the nation would not be in the extreme state of insecurity if the battle against Boko Haram had been launched much earlier than now.